Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today we are going to model this building here. Okay, so let's start. Uh, first, create a project. And I'll change to start plan because I want to see all the levels. Okay, so and I'll also uh, hide these elevation and sections and also this project baseball and the survey point. Just use VH. VH. Okay, so before I start the mess, I'm going to create some uh, detail, draw some detail lines. Okay, so the first first one, this will be um, maybe roughly 40 meter by 50. This will be the, um, the footprint of ground level. Okay, so I'll also draw another this a diagonal line so I can pick the middle point. Okay, so I'll just copy this one to uh, here and then I'll change roughly change change the size maybe sixty. And this will be the uh, f the f f footprint of top level. Okay, so now. I'll rotate this by 44 degree and then move it to here. Now we can delete these lines. So now my building will be um, so at ground level like this and then top level this. Okay, so go to elevation, select level AR, array, um, maybe 18. So now we have all select all ungroup so now we uh, we have all the levels okay so go back to side plan so we, let's start a mess okay so architecture model in place and mess okay and okay so first reference line draw our work plan set work plan ground floor okay pick line and tab so we have so I'll, sh I'll show you uh, in 3D, okay? So 3D view, WT. So this is uh, the reference line in 3D view. Okay, let, let's continue working in side plan, okay? So reference, pick line, draw on work plan, set work plan. This time I'll pick 18, level 18, and OK, and pick tab. So you can see if I rotate this one, so you can see that's on the level 18. And also, um, uh, I'm going to show you. So if you select these two, cre create form. So this shape is very, uh, very sharp. It's not, not curved. So this is not what we want. So we're going to Control Z, go back, and then we're going to create another profile. So go back to side plane here. Reference, pick line. Draw our plan, set work plan, mm, maybe 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 16, okay, and uh, pick this so you can see another set of reference line. So now this time if I select one, two, three, create a form, so you will see it's a better form. Okay, so finish this mess. So select this. Hang on, let me change T W. So let me just. I want to show you the 3D view. Um, select this mass, create mass flow, select all the level, check, OK. So now go architecture floor, uh, floor by face, select all the floor, oh sorry, select all the mass flow and create floor. OK, so now we have all these actual flow so see and you can also select all maybe I'll change it to 300 because yeah this is a big building so and um, and also so see this uh, update to face so if you change the mass you can you can so for you um, for example if I change um, if I just slightly change this uh, mass okay so I'll just select this Profile, I'll rotate it a little bit, maybe 10 degrees. Okay, and then finish mass. 
and then you, you will see the, the floor is not matching the mass, so it's fine. Select the floor and update. So okay, so now um, now let's let's now let's let's create the, the curtain wall. Okay, so and uh, our temporal hard this mass because I'm just I'll just use uh, the floor. Okay, so go to wall, um, just wall architectural wall, uh, and I'll pick the the sh the store front and change the ground floor. That's fine. So the uh, we're going to create the first one. So start from ground floor to first floor or level one. So change the top to level one. And also, I we need to negative 300 because of the floor thickness, and also offset. So this will be the depth of your your uh, balcony. Maybe I'll try. Let's try 2100 and use pick line, and move your cursor to the edge of the floor, and make sure the the, the dash line. See the dash line? It's inside of the floor. And a tap, tap, and a click. So now we have a set a uh, full curtain wall. Um, okay, a little bit over the floor. Maybe let's control Z. Maybe um, I'll change change the offset. Okay, change it to 27. And let's do it again. So move the cursor here. Tab tab. Click. Okay. Good. Uh, Okay, so then we need to change the base constraint to level one, top constraint to level two, and pick pick on the the, the, the level the floor of level one. Tap tap click. Oops, sorry. Control Z. Tap tap click. Yep, and change that to level two, level two, level three. Tap, 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 and change to level three, level four, and tap, tap, and level four, level five, and tap, tap, click. So um, I'll I'll pause it now. Okay. Okay, so last one, last level. So now we have all the external curtain wall from ground level to uh, top. And uh, now let's have a look at this photo here. So there's some balustrade. So let's, it's the same, um, just like the curtain wall. So you can you can use railing or you can even use a uh, um, curtain wall as well so here I'll, I'll show you so if you use railing and you can just sketch path and maybe let's try this glass panel okay so and then change the base level before you place so level one and pick line so you can pick the um, sorry pick line and you can pick the tab tab and finish okay and then cs create similar change the level level two pick line pick line tab tab finish uh oh sorry wrong one so level one should be the level two yep and then cs level three pick line Tab, 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 click, finish. So CS create similar. If if you don't want to use your keyboard, it's here. Okay. So CS level four, pick line, tab, tab, click. Okay. So yeah, just like this. So um, so that's it. Um, uh, that's it for today. Um. Uh, Tomorrow, tomorrow we'll have a look of. So actually, you can see these uh, twisted columns. 
we will try to model this. Okay, so like this. That's for tomorrow. Okay, so thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll save this file for now. Thank you. Bye.